A big day for LA and another sign that we are nearing the end of this brutal pandemic. The county has just qualified to move into the least restrictive yellow tier on the coronavirus reopening blueprint. The Board of Supervisors actually just released a statement. That says in part, this has been a long and difficult journey, and we are so heartened to arrive at this latest milestone. Entering the yellow tier means that we have reached the next to last stage before fully reopening, and this is another welcome sign. We are moving toward a safe and healthy new normal. One thing that is guided by hope rather than fear. KCAL 9's Tina Patel has more on what this will look like. Imagine bars being open again inside. That's one of the changes we'll see when LA County moves into the yellow tier, possibly later this week. I think we've done a, a really decent job holding our own if you look at our case numbers. Um, and uh, people are, are really invested, I think, at this point in seeing our recovery move forward. In the least restrictive tier, bars could have 25% capacity indoors. Gyms could go up to 50%. Amusement parks would be able to increase attendance to 35%. And outdoor sports venues and live events could go up to 67%. It's good news for business owners and people who've been waiting to have entertainment options again. But is it too much too soon? The dean of the Brown University School of Public Health weighed in on CBS This Morning. The key here is we got to keep vaccinating. We can't let our foot off the accelerator there. And that's really going to get us to a place where we can all do all of these things quite safely. The city of L.A. is trying to do its part, sending out an alert yesterday to let people know that vaccines are available without an appointment to anyone over the age of 16. And it's expected the Pfizer vaccine will soon be authorized for people over the age of 12. Dr. Jaw hopes parents won't wait to get their kids vaccinated. We've seen in the clinical trials that kids have tolerated this very, very well, and it's been highly effective. He knows some people say the country won't reach herd immunity until 80% of the population is vaccinated. But he said what matters is getting as many people vaccinated as possible, especially now that supply is starting to outweigh demand. I think if we can get another 10 or 15% of Americans to get vaccinated, I think it'll actually make an enormous difference whether we hit that magic number or not. Infection numbers will come way, way down, and that's what we care about. And, and life will go back to, you know, kind of a, a new version of normal. City-run vaccination clinics in L.A. will start operating six days a week, some with evening hours, and there will be more mobile clinics going into communities to make sure everyone who wants a vaccine can get one. In Studio City, Tina Patel, KCAL 9 News. I know, just incredible, and to think that we were in the worst surge of this pandemic just a few short months ago.